Okay, finally. Finally, a study, famous study that was done about 15 years ago by an evolutionary biologist named David Buss, who's now at the University of Texas. He wasn't at the time. And he did one of these sorts of studies that we recognize by now, which is uh, sort of questioning people, questioners of people from a lot of different cultures all over the planet. And this was this massive study of... I don't remember how many different cultures, but it ranged from non-westernized nomadic pastoralists, non-westernized agriculturalists, socialists, countries, communist ones, capitalist ones, everything in between, individualistic societies, communalist societies, all of that. It was tens of thousands of people in the study where he gave all these people a list of traits and he would say, which of these traits are most important to you in terms of who you marry? And what came out in every single culture looked at as follows. In every culture looked at, women are more likely than men to want a mate who is older than them. In every culture looked at, men more common than women looking for someone who's younger than them. In every culture looked at, women more than men citing the economic prowess of this individual as being part of what constitutes the desirable traits. In every one of them that's been looked at, men having a greater preference than women for markers, health markers of fertility in the person they would wind up with. This was so depressing because this is every culture on this planet coming up with this cliche. Everybody learned about this study and how remarkably disturbing it was in terms of all of those stereotypes across so many different cultures. Women are looking for older guys who have lots of money and men are looking for younger women with big hips or who knows what. And this came through in every single culture. But what everybody always misses when they discuss this study was one additional one. And this is like enough for like Hallmark cards, all of that. What everybody knows is across these cultures, these traits were more likely to be rated highly by one sex versus the other. But in every single one of the countries, what you find is both sexes had an equal preference for the number one thing on the list, which is winding up with somebody who's nice to them 